Hello. I thought I'd give you a view of the back garden behind the Kirk Centre, which is absolutely lovely. Anyway, Stairway to Heaven. When I was a teenager, learning to play the guitar, if there was one song that was the go-to song when it came to impressing the girls, it was Stairway to Heaven. If you could play the opening notes, they were instantly recognisable and sounded brilliant. And they had a certain wow factor. And I was thinking about this and I realised that when my own son, Liam, was a teenager learning to play the guitar, the go-to song by then was a song called Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> Back to Stairway to Heaven. Stairway, Stairway to Heaven was a glorious 70s anthem. Um, it's on Led Zeppelin's fourth album, if you're interested. Uh, it's, it's full of intricate guitar work and rousing guitar solos and, and mystical illusions. And at the heart of it is a lady who is buying a stairway to heaven. Of course, it's all an illusion. Because the original mention of stairway to heaven is found in Genesis chapter 28. And as Jacob discovered one night, it cannot be bought. <laughs> you cannot buy a stairway to heaven. If you know something of the story of Jacob, you know, it didn't start very well. He was a bit of a rogue. He was a liar. He was a trickster. He was a cheat. And by the time he reached adulthood, he'd not only managed to disappoint his father, Isaac, but he'd really managed to cheese off his elder brother, well, his elder twin brother, Esau, so much so that he had to run for his life. And he finds himself destitute and penniless at a place called Bethel. And he collapses on the ground, puts a stone for a pillow and falls asleep. And as he sleeps, he dreams of a ladder, a stairway, ascending from that place to heaven with angels, heavenly beings, going up and down on that stairway. And he wakes up and he says these words, which is our verse of the week. He says, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. What Jacob has learned is that whether he knows it or not, God is with him, and God cares about him. And that night he starts out on a different sort of journey, one that eventually leads him to putting his trust in this God and putting his life in this God's hands. So here's a question for us. What sort of a place are you in today? Is it a good place? Is it a not so good place? Whatever the sort of place you're in, my prayer is that you too would be able to say, as Jacob did that day, surely the Lord is in this place and I was not aware of it. See, that's what the Christmas story is all about. It's all about the God who is with us, not just for Christmas, but for the whole of our lives. Surely the Lord is in this place and I was not aware of it. Loving Father, our prayer is that you'd reveal your presence to us today, that you'd surprise us with a sense of who you are and how much you love us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a good day.